India is known towards developing supercomputers. CDEC has got the responsibility for this. I'm Piyush Pandey and CDEC Director General E. Mangeji with us, who will tell by when India will get the indigenous supercomputers. Sir, my first question is that what progress has been made so far towards making indigenous supercomputers? Okay. First, first, let me explain what, what are the components of a supercomputer. It has got three components. One is the processor itself, and then you make the motherboard of the, or using the processor, which we call it as a node, as a single node. And we make multiple of such nodes and interconnect them to make a cluster. And that cluster is called as a uh, high-performance cluster or supercomputer. That is the definition. Apart from these nodes, there are interconnecting uh, 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 wires which connect all these nodes. We call it network interconnected. Uh, or we, in general terms, it's called Ethernet connectivity or infinite band or such thing. And the third component is the storage. So what we are talking about is the compute, the networking, and the storage. These three forms the, uh, the key elements of any supercomputer. Okay. In the last few decades, CDEC has contributed immensely on the networking area, which we call as ParamNet, and today we call it uh, 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 Trinetra A, B. We have moved to different generation of this network card, which we call it Trinetra A, B, and today we have B+. And then from the storage side, we have built our own storage server and accelerator for the storage. It's available. And on the node front, on the compute node, when I spoke in the earlier point, so this, this is a basic unit. Today we are using x86-based architecture and using those, those okay. chips that are available in the market, we have built the indigenous server nodes. So this is being manufactured today by a few companies, a few EMS companies in the India, like VBD and Keynes. Uh, uh, these are companies who have already started manufacturing it. Some companies have taken TOT of this uh, technology so that they can manufacture and serve other uh, requirements of the country. So okay. as told, three components are done already. System, we are done. We have done the networking. We have done the storage. Using all of this, we create clusters. So these kind of clusters are available today in the country. A POC is done in our center in Pune. A small machine is available in Sidak Delhi, uh, which is like a, a 100 teraflop. And then we have a larger machine, which is to be yet to be launched. We are expecting PM to inaugurate that in the coming months, to, uh, and we'll have a big event on that. So that is yeah. about uh, three petaflops. So this is the one of the biggest machine that we have, which is indigenous okay. and manufactured and built in the country. So the only okay, missing piece here is the processor, the processor chip that uh, that we are using off the shelf component. The yes, my next question for that actually, and uh, the, uh, uh, yesterday uh, May CDEC uh, take cooperation to develop high capacity processor which yes. companies are those and uh, what is the plan of cdac for the processor so for the processor uh, so we need multiple cores of the processor to, to work together to make a high performance computing chip actually so yeah. today the trend is moving towards low power so uh, when you talk of uh, low power there is one company uh, which is uh, uh, giving the best performance and the power consumption as well. And that is the ARM architecture. So we have licensed the ARM technology for this purpose, and we are using it to build this uh, 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 processor, which will have multiple of this. So we are targeting okay. about 96 cores to go into one processor. So our first partner is the ARM, uh, UK-based company, ARM. So they have, we have licensed the ARM technology from them. And then we identified a consortium of companies who can come together and work with us to realize this processor in a silicon form. So today, okay. as you know, we, are, we have to get it manufactured outside the country, like TSMC, UMC, or other foundries, because we are ready to have our own foundry in the country. So we need the interface to can talk to them and get the best technology to us. So the best technology that is available worldwide is a fine animated technology. So okay. this fine animated, we, we go to this consortium partners to reach out these two foundry and get this fabricated. Okay. Prior to that, we have to put together the design. So we have to uh, uh, combine this processor course, multiple of them, 
say 24 clusters, 48 clusters, and make a 96 cluster, 96 core processor. To make this happen, we have found an Indian partner. We wanted to do that within the country. We wanted to do this, the whole design and implementation within the country. So we were very, very much uh, 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 you know, for any Indian company to come forward and make it happen in the country. So our expression of interest was uh, made, made, made in such a way uh, the lead company should be an Indian company. And okay. they could have partners, they can have uh, partners outside the country to get it fabricated, tested and all that. Yeah. But the design should happen within the country along with the CDAC scientist. So that was okay. our first intention. So therefore we did this expression of intent and then we identified this partner who is none other than Mosschip Technologies, who is Hyderabad based company. They also have very good history of successful chip design. They were originally a product company. They've done a lot of uh, uh, control, Ethernet controllers, and they went into market. And uh, they are good, doing very well. So we engaged with them. And through them, we reached out to their partners called uh, Socio Next. So this is a Japanese okay. company. Who, so they were also part of uh, such kind of designs in the past. They worked in big designs like this. So with their support, this consortium came together and they were the best and we, we selected them. And uh, in the okay. next uh, two years, we are expecting a first milestone, which would be the uh, tape out of the chip. The tape out of the chip means the design. We are completing the design and ready for fabrication. That's the meaning of tape outing of chip. Okay. So we'll see. Sir, uh, uh, my question related to next uh, actually issue, uh, there is any timeline when will the indigenous high capacity processor uh, be prepared in India? There is any timeline? Yes, sir, there is a timeline. First, we have to go stage by stage. So the design and development is one stage and the fabrication is another stage. And finally, there will be a testing and then uh, you do evaluation of the uh, chip, which comes back to us. So there are three, four steps involved in this making. So this is the first time that we are putting together 96 core. The design has to be done right at the very first time. There is no scope of making any mistake. We can't afford any respin, or we can we can't afford a different versions year and after. So all with all caution, we are going to this design cycle so that whatever we do on the drawing board, you know, it, it's fault free and uh, defect free. So we are very cautious. We take more time on the drawing board. Therefore, we need at least two years to make the design and the implementation done. That would okay. be in 26. We will have this design done and ready for fabrication. And the design files will be sent abroad, which is TSMC, through our consortium partners. And they, in turn, will get this manufactured at TSMC. Normally, the TF for TSMC or UMC, which is offering this node, they take four, four to six months to fabricate because there are a lot of steps involved in the fabrication. First thing is they do mask preparation. They create multiple layers of masks to, wherein they use the lithography process to uh, make your chip, uh, multiple chip. And then once that mask design is done, they actually fabric, use the mask to fabricate the chip. And then subsequently, the high level testing will be done and then it will be packaged. And again, the package also will be made, uh, go through a complete testing process. And then it gets shipped back to India. So that process itself is a one year, nine months to one year time after we deliver the design. So we are talking okay. of a timeline of about three years, you know, until then uh, we need to wait till the chip comes back to the country. Means 2027. And? Yes. Yes. In so my uh, next question uh, related to position of technical uh, field in uh, India. Basically, what position will India hold in the field of computing uh, globally after manufacturing indigenous supercomputers. So with this particular processor design uh, and the, the lot of efforts which has already gone into making the supercomputing clusters, we are actually the fourth worldwide. We're the fourth country okay. in the world uh, to take up this and, uh, 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 and uh, there is no other country Country, I mean, America, of course, uh, there's European Union, the Japanese company, uh, country is also involved in this. And then uh, we are the fourth company country in the world to venture into this making uh, supercomputing chips. Okay, sir. And the uh, uh, last question is that, what is the CDEC plan? And 
how much time will it take to implement it means uh, uh, when the super computer prepared in india so as i told once the process that is a 3 year uh, uh, round turn around time once we have Our a processor, processor it is about putting that processor into motherboards and building clusters by yeah. manufacturing multiple nodes and clusters so th that is uh, uh, we can do it within six to nine months. We can complete. So three and a half years to four years, we'll have our own full-fledged clusters up and running, which we call you know Atmanabhar Bharat, the fully self-reliant system for the country. Sir, uh, there is any cost efficiency when uh, we prepared a supercomputers in India? Yes, definitely. There is a cost advantage is there uh, because we are not paying. Uh, Additionally, because there are a lot of IPs, which is homegrown IPs, which is going inside the processor. And we, we have already brought this IP. There is a small royalty need to be paid to the arm whenever you manufacture. It's a very negligible amount. And we have the complete manufacturing um, uh, of the systems within the country. So that's a big saving. Instead of buying and keeping, we build our own, we design, we build our own system, manufacture our own system. There are a lot of savings involved in this. So, okay. and, and of course, because it is an ARM architecture, there's a lot of power savings. So uh, the x86 processor as it is, is a complex instruction set architecture. Because of that, it consumes a lot of power. Whereas the ARM is a, a, a reduced instruction set computing processor. It is power efficient. And therefore we save a lot of power. We don't need to put big uh, power plants to run these machines. So in fact, it can run 50% uh, uh, of the power that is normally required. So my last question is that, uh, like uh, ISRO, that chosen name of uh, Chandrayaan 3, Chandrayaan 2, Mangalyaan, uh, do any uh, name chosen by Sizek for future processor which uh, prepared in India? So actually, as you see the backdrop, what you have, uh, we wanted to have a digital India risk five roadmap, what we called as uh, uh, risk five uh, Dirvi program. So the supercomputing okay. processor today we're talking of ARM architecture, and uh, for going forward we will have our, our own architecture, which is called uh, reduced instruction set architecture version five. That is called uh, risk five. Our honorable minister. Made it uh, calling it as DIRFI processors. So we'll have going forward, we'll have a series of uh, DIRFI processors coming up, which will be uh, much more efficient than what we are doing today. Okay. And and the idea is to have it fabricated within the foundries coming up in India. So we'll have uh, new chips coming in the twenty eight nanometer fabs that is upcoming in India. So this new okay. next generation processors will be based on that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much.